Stanford Analytics. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the important DAX functions and also frequently asked interview question for Power BI. So which is nothing but about parallel period in Power BI. So this is going to be two parts of the video. So the first part would be we will be discussing about parallel period. In the next video, we will look at the same period tax function. Okay. So what is meant by parallel period? So parallel period would help us to compare the uh, specific period data with the previous uh, period data uh, in that current data set. Okay. So for example, as you see in the current example, I have already created an example for you to illustrate this uh, function. So as you can see here, we have a timeline based on different months uh, spread across based on the year that I've selected 2021. Now within this year, we have different sales uh, distributed across the different months, right? Now, when we create this parallel period uh, calculation, it would help us to get the previous periods data accordingly. So here, since we are breaking the data based on the month uh, basis, uh, the parallel period has also been computed based on the month as the period, okay? So therefore, the values that we see within this column are from the pre previous uh, month data, okay? So this 43,971 is coming from the previous month data, which is for Jan right so that is why for jan uh, sales is being this uh, resembled or populated against the february month data and what you see in the first row 96000 is coming from the previous year last month value so which is since uh, since we've selected 2021 right so the last year is 2020 december month sales value okay so likewise if we wanted to get the previous uh, period uh, data being uh, populated in our uh, resultant, then we can use this parallel period function within Power BI, okay? So now let's understand how we can uh, evaluate or uh, define this function and what is the uh, DAX function that can help us to get to this particular calculation. So let's get started. So for this, I will go to this uh, tables. <coughs> Sorry. So I will go back to my tables. So I will create a calculation here based on a measure. So I'll say new measure. And then I will rename this measure to parallel period last month. Since I wanted to evaluate based on the period month. Okay. So since we have to calculate this logic, we are going to use the function called calculate and specify based on which expression we are trying to evaluate it. So here we are trying to get the sales value. So therefore the expression would become sales value. So sum of sales from that particular table. Okay. And then the next uh, parameter that we have to provide is based on which specific period, right? So that would become our filter condition here. So the period is nothing but for here, we will use the function called parallel period. Okay. So for parallel period, the syntax is we would have to provide a date value. So the date value here we will use is the, from the calendar uh, column, like from the calendar table date. And within this, we are trying to evaluate based on my year selection. So therefore, we will uh, select this particular value as year. Um, or maybe I'll just leave it here. Maybe we'll see this in the other example. Calendar date. And then the next parameter that we have to insert is number of intervals. So number of intervals is nothing but. So we would have to evaluate based on the previous month value, right? So therefore, it would be minus one. Since we have to go previous, uh, since we have to get the previous record, it should be minus one, okay? And then the uh, comes the period or the interval. So here the interval is nothing but based on how uh, it should get the resultant, right? So we are comparing this with respect to the previous month value. So therefore, this interval is month. And then close this expression.
okay so this uh, measure has now been created so what I can do here is I will just uh, get this values being uh, shown as a table so I will say uh, I would like to have this uh, particular uh, month coming from my uh, so month is coming from my uh, calendar date table and okay so from my calendar table and then what uh, we also like to evaluate uh, or get the sales value and uh, I'll just select my sales from my orders table and then uh, this particular calculation that we've created now so which is my parallel period last year okay so now if I expand this and probably I'll uh, increase the tough font size I'll just go to <coughs> go to this values increase the font size okay so now as you see here for this particular uh, so maybe I'll select a different here okay so I've selected 2020 here from my uh, slicer now if you observe for the pe uh, parallel period last month uh, values this 18,542 is coming from the previous month value which is from my Jan month value against the February month similarly 22,000 is coming from my previous month which is February so likewise we are able to get the previous month value being extracted okay and the first value is coming from the previous year's last month data okay so this is how we can be able to create a uh, or get the previous records based on that particular interval that we define in the measure value so maybe if you'd like to get based on the uh, last year uh, value completely then in that particular measure that we've created you can specify this interval to be as year so then this calculation would be evaluated based on that particular previous year's data and once you set, make this changes here then on this particular visual you might have to display it based on the year so that you get to see the uh, complete uh, data accordingly okay so i hope you understood how we can create this parallel period uh, function within power bi so in the next video we will look at same period uh, function and also try to discuss about the difference between each of them. So thank you.